It's an odd sight watching the two-time world champions take the ice in third place. That's where they are. Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizerome from France in their home country trying to win a gold at the Grand Prix Final. Especially him. He stumbled quite a bit in the short dance. about their style that's so great that there's a stillness and emotion attached to each movement. It never feels rushed. But a slight disadvantage they may have in something like a short dance where they have to do something that's not this emo all about the music and the feeling and all of that stuff is that they don't do the other stuff quite as well as a, as a Virtue and Moyer and at times even a Chalk and Bates. So they really have to think about that leading into Pyeongchang. You mentioned Virtue and Moyer, they're still to come. They train together. Papadakis and Cicerone under the same coaches and they faced off for the first time earlier in the Grand Prix, Grand Prix Japan, and it was the Canadians who won by more than nine points. I mean, this is all so new for them. New training mates, not winning. They expect to win. And they said now with Tessa and Scott, it's much more stressful. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore were longtime training partners of Merrill Davis and Charlie White, their biggest rivals there in Detroit. And some teams really feed off of that energy training every day with your biggest rival. But for very artistic, eccentric people like Guillaume and Gabriella, it might be a little bit too much on a daily basis. of art or a ballet and then all of a sudden there's a move with so much strength and athleticism that you remember oh I'm watching skating I'm watching ice dancing An emotional end. They have so much passion, and, and their emotion is not a performance. It is personal, and it's like we, as the audience members, are allowed to look in and peek on such a special moment. It's got to be emotional to come back home, too. They don't train 
live for the most part in their home country. They're in Montreal. It is always so special to perform in front of a, a hometown crowd, and that emotion at the end definitely was, you know, the stress of competition, but also being able to do it in your own hood. Up next, not in their hood, but maybe in a situation where they can win the gold, the Shibatanis. Papadakis sits around. Eyes closed, at least for him, waiting for the numbers now. How good will they be? 114.95, because they're going to need to be very good. This may not be quite enough if Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer skate their best. 192.81. Think of that dynamic between them, Virtue and Moyer, who come back. I mean, they've been away for a while.